Hello, Assalamu alaikum and good morning. Now I'm starting with the fourth lecture on autopsy. And the learning objective of this lecture will be that we'll discuss and understand what are various techniques which are used for dissection at autopsy. And there are four most common techniques, the Virkos, Prokensky's, Lutelis, and Gons technique. And I will be discussing and we'll understand these techniques in a little bit detail. What are advantages of various techniques? Then we'll discuss which is the most helpful and useful technique in various situation of the autopsy. So starting with the lecture, lecture number four, Bismillah rahman rahim Continuing with the autopsy, topic of autopsy, the lecture number four is, I will be discussing the techniques of autopsy. The first technique is the Virkos technique. And the second is Rokinensky's technique. And third is Lutelli's technique. And fourth is Gon's technique. So these are four most common techniques which are used for the dissection of body at autopsy. So regarding Virkos technique, Virkos method is an organ by organ removal. First, the cranial cavity is exposed and from the back, the spinal cord is exposed, which is followed by thoracic, cervical, and abdominal organs. This is the most common method which is used. The advantage of this technique is that each organ can be studied in detail. But the disadvantage of this technique is that the anatomical pathological relationship is not preserved and thus that cannot be studied. Virkos is credited, basically he was a scientist. He was credited with several very important discoveries. His most widely known scientific contribution is his cell theory, which was built on the work of Theodore Schoen. He was one of the first to accept the work of Robert Remark who showed the origins of cells was the division of the pre-existing cells. And Virko used the theory that all cells arise from the pre-existing cells to lay the groundwork for the cellular pathology or the study of the disease at the cellular level. His work made it more clear that diseases occur at the cellular level and his work led to the scientific scientist being able to diagnose the diseases more accurately. Then the Rokensky's technique. This technique involves in situ examination of the viscera with removal of the notable organs only. This technique is commonly preferred when the pathologists want to limit the spread of infection in some infectious cases like HIV or hepatitis B. The disadvantage of this technique is that the organs cannot be studied in detail. In Lutelli's technique, Lutelis method is en masse removal of all the viscera. 
In this method, the cervical, thoracic, abdominal, and pelvic organs are removed and block and mass. But this, the subsequently they are dissected as an organ block. But a removal is en masse. This technique is best as routine and preservation of connection between the organs and organ systems. The organ block then can be studied in detail. Then the Gons technique. Gons method is also end block removal of the viscera into thoracic, intestine, upper abdominal, lower abdominal, brain and neck. Pathologists are more comfortable with this technique. All organs should be weighed and briefed. Description of the organs should be recorded. So which is the best method of forensic anatomy dissection? Virkos, Lutelis, Krokensky's, or Gons. In medical autopsies on hospital cases, the anatomical orientation is observed and the disease process is studied. So hence, the Lutelis method in these cases is preferred. In medical autopsies, the Lutellis technique is preferred. In medical legal autopsies, Virkos or the Gons are the most commonly used techniques because they are used to, due to anatomical relationship and time-saving process. So summary of this lecture is that we have learned various techniques of autopsies. We have learned the Virkos, Rokenskis, Lutellis, and the Gons technique. Then we have learned which is the best technique used in various situations of autopsy. So thank you very much. So this is all about election number four. Take care. Allah Hafiz.